Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. Those who know me personally refer to me as the no-nonsense princess or lady of Umoganigwe Kingdom. This introduction alone should make you understand the person you are up against. Start on time to dismantle that deadly structure you've put in place. Don't make me come after you, because if I do, I will crush you and make you run out of business. Start the meeting without her. Okay. If you say so. Uh, the truth is that something very terrible happened to us as a people. But we are not going to break down. Actually, we have to remain strong as a people. And that is the only way we can. I'm not even about that. As the head princess, why did you start this meeting without me? I asked him to start the meeting. The most important thing is that I am here as the crown prince of this land. I'm not even going to dwell on that insult. Oh no, please, can you start all over? What for? And what insult are you even talking about? Uh, 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 um, don't bother yourself. I will start all over again. There's no problem with that. Oh, better. Okay, then I... I came to commiserate with the royal family. It happened to all of us. I am not just here in my individual capacity as the Onowu of this land. No. I actually came as a friend to the late king. But I would have preferred that the queen is part of this meeting because she is the person that will understand what you are about to present more than all of you. Um, oh no. You already started well. Please don't deviate or ruin the wonderful speech you've already recorded. As for the queen, She's not in the right frame of mind. Go on. We will carry on on her behalf. Okay. Okay then. Let me just say it straight. As a way forward, the royal family must have to organize the ceremony to announce the death of the king. And it has to be done as fast as possible. I, um, wait a second, you know, I don't understand. Which one is ceremony to announce the death of the king? Yeah, ceremony, yes. My princess, according to our tradition, when a king dies, the family of the king, we organize a ceremony to announce that the king is dead. During that ceremony, Barrier dates will be fixed. Oh, you elders are full of lies. What? Which one is ceremony to announce the king's death? Why must there be a ceremony just to announce the death of the king? What? The death of? Well, what is even there to celebrate? This is the tradition of this land. And we, the men in council, are committed to carrying it out to the letter. 
Okay? <laughs> okay. Who bears the cost of this useless ceremony? Unua. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm listening. As the princess of this kingdom and the Ada of this family, I overrule everyone on this. There will be no ceremony announcing the king's death. What are we even announcing when everyone in Umoganigwe and beyond knows that the king is dead and we are planning for the burial? Um, Olido, when will you learn to keep your mouth shut when issues that are rooted in tradition and culture of this land are in focus? Why are you making a fool of yourself? Oh, you are the fool here. You are the fool who can't see when political elders are trying to plan an indirect party to be sponsored by us. Well, I'm glad I am the one who signs the palace account. Nothing happens without me. Now, Oledo, I need you to understand this right here and right now. We are not political elders. We are the men in council. And what we are telling you is the tradition of this land. When the king dies in this land, the royal family must have to organize a ceremony. A ceremony to announce the death of that king. It is during that ceremony that the date of the burial will be feast. And then an announcement will be made to the entire kingdom announcing the passage of the king. Okay, fine. If that's the case, I will have to write an official letter informing every member of this kingdom that the king is dead. Oh, okay. Not to worry. I have a book where the families of this kingdom are listed. I also have their phone numbers. Or still, I'll have to send them a bulk message informing them on what they already know. Oledo, are you even listening to what these noble men are saying? No, oh, not at all. <laughs> While I'm deaf. Have you forgotten? Please, you all should calm down already. Please. Oledo is forgetting she's a woman. And she shouldn't get involved with decisions like this. Mom, we need to talk to her. She's keeping everything on hold. She has refused to listen to Ono. Mom, I know I'm keeping quiet. It's because she's my elder sister. She doesn't listen to me either. I think I have to talk to your uncle. Because apart from your late father, the king, he's the only one she listens to. Then call him. So he will come and talk to Olido. The elders are waiting and we need to finalize that meeting today. Get me my phone. Oh no, I want to thank you and Chief for, for, for your patience. I was duly informed that the princess refused to agree to the tradition of our land. And I was... Uh, uh, mother, I don't know what you were told. And I don't even know why Uncle John was brought in. But I still stand on what I said. I don't understand the rationale behind having a ceremony just to announce the death of the king. Just so we know, my father did not leave a tree of money behind. We should bear that in mind when making decisions. Nobody wants to rip you off your late father's word, Princess Soledo. But this is tradition and must be followed accordingly to avoid consequences. Exactly, Uncle. Exactly what I told her, but she refused to listen to me. Uncle John, I can't believe a man in your class has this to say. Well, as the princess of this noble family, I know I have the full right to decide on how my father will be buried and everything concerning his burial. And uh, listen, the man we are talking about here was not just an ordinary man. He was your father, yes, 
but he was a king not just a king of one one small business kingdom we're talking about a king of umo ganibwe his burial must be in line with the tradition and the custom of this land <sighs> Oh no, with all due respect. You see, the more you talk, the more I see reasons my father made me a signatory to his account. I am the first son of this family. And I will appreciate it if you learn to acknowledge that. Do you understand me? My friend, shut up. What did you just say? You only speak when I'm done speaking. Princess Oledu, take it easy. Did you, did you just talk to me? Enough! Enough! What is the meaning of this? Can't you all allow me mourn my husband in peace? Oledu. Uh, our tradition is our tradition. And we must stick to it. And she actually called us political elders. You should learn to respect the prince. He is the first son in this family. Are you serious right now? Me, the princess of Umoganiwe, to respect the prince. A boy I gave three good standard years. He is a man, you a woman. If there's any decision to be made or any important thing to discuss, he will be called as the man that he is, not you. I am sorry. He will never be king. Uncle, I'm surprised at you. I thought you are learned. This is a new millennium. Wake up and smell the coffee. Nothing has changed, my dear. Nothing. Men are still the head in everything. And don't forget, the prince is the heir to the throne. Oh, never, not when I'm alive. The prince can never be the king of this kingdom. I am the first child of this family and I have every right to appoint who becomes king. I'm surprised that you are do. That decision is not yours to make. With all your exposure, you still have this... this myopic mindset it is not a myopic mindset my dear i'm telling you the truth the way things are and i'm equally telling you the truth some things are long overdue but they are still intact because men with balls have no balls to talk i don't have any balls but i have the courage to speak and at any time you know what when you want to reason like the civilized uncle that I used to know, call me. Excuse me. Princess Oledo. You know, I wonder what she intends to achieve with all this her wide reasoning and approaches. What exactly does she want? I think I know what she wants. Which is? Princess Oledo is not like other women. She's ambitious. I don't have any problem with her being ambitious, but is it possible for you to sit her down? Sit her down and inform her that she has to ask some questions. Is it because she's the princess of this kingdom? She has to know that women are not even qualified to be admitted to seat in the gathering of men. I think you respond to what you saw and heard. <laughs> the princess from her courage, actions and utterances wants to be our next king. Hmm. How is that possible? You sure from where is this coming from? She visited my wife a while ago. From what I have observed since I was a child, women are not represented in the Council of Elders. Why is that so? That is how we met it. 
and I think we should leave it that way. Royalty was not a pattern in Igbo land. It was the elders that ruled with Umada. And the Umada had their prideful positions in Igbo land. The Warrant Chief System was finally introduced by the missionary invaders. And that left power on just one man to assist the British colonialists achieve their command structure. It is this Warrant Chief nonsense that has brought about the kingship you see in Igbo land today. You actually know the history. I'm impressed by princess. <laughs> Um, thanks for the compliment, but I am not here for that. They have made it a rule that a man must be the king. And the people in council, men. That has finally wiped off the position of Umada in Igbo land. You have a point. But there is nothing anyone can do about it. They have continued to make us believe that it is the culture of the land. But it is not the culture. We have a duty to make things right. Women should be amongst the decision makers of this land. Because we are strong, powerful, and we have enduring abilities more than the men. That is why we take care of home. No. No, 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 no. It is high time we proved to them that we are more than baby makers, caregivers, maids. We are much more than that. We should be relevant in this community. The truth is that you are raising a lot of valid issues, my princess. But I'm afraid the air around us will not allow these ideas to see the light of day. I would really love you pawn down this, then gather all the women. It is high time we showed this man that we mustn't be taken for granted. We ought to be relevant in this community. This is impossible. I mean, where is this coming from? I don't understand. She wants to be the king. Listen, we have to try everything possible to stop her. Because what she is thinking is, is, is an aberration. Yes, uh, we have to stop her immediately before she washes the people into believing in such abomination. Princess Orlando. You know, you know what I think? This is one of the influences of the social media. Exactly. What are you talking about? How can you be asking me such questions? Sister, really? How can you even ask us who we think will succeed the king? Isn't that obvious? I just needed to be sure. Because the way both of you reason sometimes is so embarrassing. So I needed to be sure that your senses are still intact. Oledo, mind what you say to me. That you and my eldest sister does not give you the right to talk to me in that manner. I am the crown prince of this land. Your future king. Really? <laughs> future king. I said it. I said it that both of you hardly make good use of your senses. What makes you think you are the incoming king of Umoganigwe? Do you have a problem with that? I mean, he's the crown prince and the heir to the throne of this kingdom. I, Prince Umina Din of Umoganigwe Kingdom, will soon be the king of this land. So you should accord me some respect. Even mom does that. <laughs> oh, Mena Dimba, you are just so immature. 
Do you think I will sit and watch you become the king of Umoganigwe? Oh, you don't even know what is happening around you. I advise you browse the internet and know what is happening in the world you are living in. What are you talking about? I am the only son of this family, which automatically makes me the next king of this kingdom. Now let me shock you. Read my lips. I will not allow a murderer become king of Umoganigwe. Never. How can you call your brother a murderer? What has come over you? I would advise you take your mind off the kingship of this land. Else, it will ruin you. It is time for a change. And there is nothing you can do about it. Oledo, this is unfair. Do you need a calculator? Just so you can calculate how old you are before you return your manners. The next time you call me by my name, I will remind you why even father dreaded me. I can never take this from Olido. Never! See, Olido is not someone who speaks for nothing. We have to find out why she called you a murderer. There has to be a reason. Why did you call me a murderer? If you have issues with me, why don't you come out street and tell me so that we can trash it out as family? Sister, please don't be mad at us. We specifically came to know why you called our brother a murderer. That was very unfair. You know what is unfair? Your brother. Prince Omena Dimba getting a maid pregnant and forcing her to abort the baby. Why sleep with a woman when you can't carry out the responsibilities of the outcome? Okay, fine. Since he knew you weren't ready for the baby, why didn't you use the protection? Condoms have become so cheap that you can get one as low as 100 naira. But no, the prince did not make use of it. What is she talking about? You think because you're a man, you can treat women as you like and get away with it. Because you're selfish, you think you can use women because you feel you're superior to them. I don't know what you're talking about. You sure about that? He said he's sure. I know what I'm talking about. I saw everything. I heard everything. I know exactly what I'm talking about. I told you to use protection. But you assured me that you're going to withdraw at the point of ejaculation. You said you don't enjoy it with rubber. And finally you came inside me. And you asked me to wash up, which I did. It is not obvious that everything did not go out. And now I am pregnant. How is it my fault? Are you not supposed to have taken preventive medicine the day you left my room? Why wait until you got pregnant? What do you want me to do now? You told me that you loved me. You vowed on your honor as the common king. You said to me that you've not been with any other woman except me. Um, what's that your name again? Oh, so you don't even know my name again. And listen. Kiriko, whatever you are being called, you must be very stupid to think that a priest like me will have only you as his woman. I won't allow you to dent my reputation in this kingdom. Do you understand me? You must abort this baby. And you must not say any of these words to anybody. Because if you do, I will definitely come for you. Do you understand me? I cannot abort my baby. I cannot kill my own child. I cannot do that. I can see you don't like the privilege you are getting here. 
They want your poor parents to suffer for your stubbornness, right? Oh, leave my parents out of this. Just leave them out of this. Oh, shut up. Shut up. You don't have the right to argue with the coming king. Do you understand me? I, if you say any of this words to anybody, I will not only kill you, I will make sure your parents don't see your corpse. Do you understand me? This is not fair. This is not right at all. You, you, you said that you loved me. You said that you cannot be with any woman except me. You deceived me. Um, know um, that I, I said that I love you. I do love you. But I am not ready for all this right now. You must abort this baby. I promise I'm going to give you enough money so that your mom will start up a business when she recovers. Do you understand me? Are you sure? Listen, the coming king of Umoga New Bay never lies and never disappoints. Hmm? Um, take this money, this hundred thousand naira. I guess it will be enough to abort that unwanted thing. Do you understand me? Just take away the unwanted thing, please. It would have been fair if she did the abortion and survived it. But no, she died in the process. Do you know the worst thing? Her poor mother whom she cared for died as well. The woman couldn't bear the loss of her daughter. I keep wondering how you've been able to live all those times knowing that you killed someone. I did not kill Nkiruka. You are saying all these things to make me look bad. I am not making you look bad. For you know even in the deepest part of your heart that you are a demon. I do. I am your brother. We are from the same womb. Really? So because we share the same womb, I should partake in your evil? Is that it? Get out of my sight. This is not good. This is bad. Yes, it is, my love. It is not good at all. I won't allow someone who can't control himself or someone who can't keep a simple promise rule this kingdom. That's what has kept Nigeria in this mess. In this kingdom where I have a say, I won't allow it to happen. That's all you do. Please, I beg you, do not allow this thing to get out. It's going to ruin me. Please. I told you earlier that the only thing which will ruin you is your desire to rule this kingdom. We need a competent hand. You can rule this kingdom. We need someone who is reliable. Believe me, no hard feelings. Oh, princess, there is no other person to rule this kingdom except me. Is that what you think? You really think so? The next person who will rule this kingdom will be a female. This is a decision I made in my individual capacity as the head princess of Umoganigwe. There will be no stopping me. So, what makes you think that a woman like you can initiate the impossible? There is no word like impossible for me. And what makes you think that the people of this kingdom will allow you to rule them? The women who have been undermined all those years. Women who have been relegated to the background. Just watch and see how I'm going to handle this. What? How could you have done a thing like this? 
Mama didn't know she would die. I did my best for her, but it turned out tragic. Ha! Ah. Well, men are dim, ba. You are talking rubbish. Absolute nonsense. Wouldn't you have married her instead? Why would you sleep with a woman when you knew that you were not ready for marriage? Why would you sleep with a woman without protection? Yet you parade yourself as the next king of this great kingdom. Mother, I was taking on my ways. Are you not afraid of diseases? Mother, I was taking on my ways. When we start thinking straight, when something like this has already happened. Oh. I'm sorry. Well, I don't even know why you're telling me all this. And I want you to help me, please. It was a mistake. <laughs> I'm so sorry I can't do anything. Human life is already involved. And a character like your sister is aware of it, giving it all manner of interpretations. Mother, she's your daughter. <laughs> you can talk to her, she will listen to you. Uh... But I don't want this thing to get out. If it gets out, nobody will allow me to rule this kingdom. Please, mother. You're making me believe you don't even know your sister. I beg you, do not expose him. He's our only brother and this will only destroy him. Someone died and you're defending him. How could you? Well, it's not like he wanted her to die. It was a mistake. Um, listen, Madame Izu. There are always consequences for every action. He has to learn from it and move on. Besides, I still stand by what I said. He can't just do whatever he wants and get away with it. It is not done. But it will be unfair for you to blow the whistle on your own brother. But it is equally unfair toying with the emotions of that innocent meeting. He crushed her dreams, hopes and aspiration in life. Um, I don't want to believe that you don't understand what I'm talking about. Because you will leave me with no option but to see you as a demon like your brother. Well, he's equally your brother. What he did was a mistake. And he's sorry. But it is equally unfair to have toiled with the emotions of that poor innocent maiden. Crushing her hopes, dreams, and aspiration in life. Princess Izu, if you fail to understand what I just said, then you will leave me with no option but to believe that you are equally a demon just like your brother. Well, he's equally your brother. I mean, what he did was a mistake and he's sorry. Madam Izu, you all should know that. In every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. But Newton's third law is not in any way applicable to this. It is not. You think so? You can go and tell your brother that I forgave him a long time. But on one condition, that he forfeits his dreams of becoming king. Why are you so heartless? Oh, here we go again. I need you to gather all the competent women in this kingdom. They need orientation. They need someone to ignite this fire in them. And the time is now. I know. I know. I know it's not going to be easy. But I'm not a coward. For, for, forget about it. Forget about that. What are you talking about? The time is now. It is time we break free from the bondage that the colonial masters has put us in. We need to make a statement. They need to feel our presence like never before. I know. Okay, listen to me. There is nothing to be afraid of. Absolutely nothing. I am the one behind this. I will see through it. All right, fine. Mm. 
We need a female youth leader. I want you to get me the most fearless, vibrant, and smartest amongst them and revert back to me as soon as possible. Consider it done. No one will ever take what is mine. I will never allow that. Even if it is the last thing I will do. I notice you didn't sleep last night. Don't allow Oledo get under your skin. She won't succeed. My fear is about people hearing about that maid. You know your sister. Whenever she wants something, she never rests until it is done. I am behind you on this. I will not allow Oledo take away from you what is truly yours. You should not be. I have every reason to be. In as much as I am trying not to be, I still have every reason to be. We are talking about your sister here, Olid. Not at all, Mom. I'm fine. I'm glad. Your brother told me what happened between him and that maiden. that poor maiden go for an abortion? No. He told me just yesterday. I wouldn't have allowed him to do such a thing to another person's child. Oh, I was wondering, because I know what you represent. But, mother, he, he killed that innocent maiden. He has to pay the price. Aledo, please. I know that what your brother did was wrong. And I also know the pain you're feeling because you knew he did that, yet you were unable to tell anybody. But please. Mother, mother, please. Please, don't even go there. I know what you're about to say. Please don't say it, please. He is sorry. We all make mistakes. Oh, Mother, this is no mistake. This is an act of wickedness. I listened to their conversation before he made her go for an abortion. He was... He was so mean to her. <sighs> Mother, he deceived that girl. He has to pay the price. Please. Polly, do this is your brother we are talking about here. Does it change anything? Justice must be served. A man who takes advantage of an innocent woman is a coward. He has to pay the price. Kaledo, please. I just lost your father. I don't want to lose my son. Our oh, mother, no one is losing anybody. Justice must be served. It is high time we started taking responsibility for our actions.
It is so obvious that you don't even understand the gravity of this topic. But you said you heard what we discussed. What else do you want me to say? Have you discussed with her a further day? Yes, I have. So, what did you discuss with her? These are women's affairs. You don't need to know. I am your husband. And I demand to hear everything you discuss with Princess Oledo. With all due respect, my husband, you don't need to know of anything we discussed. It is not important. I want you to cease all communication with the princess. This is not possible. The princess and I are working on something very important. I need to keep communicating with her. Are you going to disobey me? No. But I am only exercising my rights as a human being. Nobody should deny me of that. I know. <laughs> Honestly, I am used to the ranting of men. It means nothing to me. Sincerely, I derive pleasure in putting them where they belong with the laws of the land. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, take a close look at it. Some of the rights these men claim they have over women are not even listed on the existing laws. Yes, women are just weak and it is high time we stopped. Yes. How dare you? I I'll call you back. How dare you make mom to cry? How dare you? Is that why you badged in on me? You are even raising your voice at me. I can see you want war. Can you stand this war? <laughs> oh, please, don't be silly. No one is fighting with you. Don't be paranoid. Olivia, you better stop this madness now that it's still very early. Else! You have me to contend with. Because they call you Omena Dimba. <laughs> you are still a small boy. A riffraff. <laughs> oh, don't dare me. Don't dare me because I will crush you. Told this fool to apply this option. He's only digging his grave. We can't just sit and watch Oledo bring calamities upon this kingdom. I agree with you. We have to stop her. But how? We all know what Oledo can do. Even in the Zenos are scared of her. Princess Oledo is not to be played with. Yes. If we stick together, trust me, we cannot smart her. But one thing I find very disturbing is that no one has been able to tell me the disadvantages of what Oledo does. So, yes. Why are you sounding like a broken record? See. If you don't know what to say, just shut up. I don't even know what to tell you. I am surprised at you all. I mean, we are in the new millennium. Wake up! We are supposed to be supporting Oledo and not ganking up against her. What are you even talking about? Of course we would gladly support her if she was doing the right thing. But in this case, she is clearly going against everything this kingdom stands for. And she must be stopped. Exactly. She is going against the injustice done to the women of this land. And we must support her. We must stick with her. Never. Anyone who sticks with my sister to support this blatant disrespect against the norms of our kingdom automatically becomes my enemy. So be it. Excuse me. Come on. I cannot sit here and listen to cowards like you who do what they are asked to do without checking if it is right or wrong i believe in women 
I believe in justice for women. You know what, IJ? Just go. Mm -hmm. Live here. We don't want you. Exactly. Yes. We don't need your support. Yes, please. Exactly. We are okay the way we are. Come on. We are women and need to be pampered. Yes. Not the other way around. Okay. Continue being okay where you are. Continue being afraid of doing a new thing. I will see where that leads you all. Go, just go. Please go. Let's hear. Just go. Okay. I don't understand. That's okay. Let her go. I'm happy you're doing well. I know you to be a strong woman. What would you have me do? My father is dead. And as the first child of this family, I have too many responsibilities on my shoulders. So, I have to be strong to run the affairs of the family and the kingdom. Don't overwork yourself, my princess, please. <laughs> Not to worry, I'll be fine, okay? So, how have you been? I've been alright. Just trying to get the contract I told you about. Oh, that's true. So, how is it going? Uh, it hasn't been easy. But I still keep hope alive. Everything will be alright. Thank you so much. You said that with so much ease. That is more reason I love you. <laughs> you can say that again. You're welcome. Um, I beg to leave now. There is something I need to take care of inside, okay? Yes, yeah, so I'll call you. All right. Okay. All right. See ya. All right. Bye. My in law, my in law. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm alright. Um, I can see you came here to see your king. Pardon? Oh, stop speaking so much English. You want to be the queen of this land? I don't understand what you're talking about. Oh, he does not understand what I am saying now. Are you not the one plotting with my sister to take my throne? You want my sister to be the king while you become the queen? I still don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> Listen to me, Gisli. I am watching you so closely. So don't take me for a fool. Do you understand me? I'm watching you. Be very careful. Be very, very careful, young man. Buy me some apples, um, watermelon with pineapples. Okay, my princess. Hurry up. <clears throat> so you, you did not inform your boyfriend that he's going to be the queen of this land very soon? I think he has the right to know. What do you think? I hope you did not tell Vincent anything. Oh, come on. Why not? Why not? Wait. Don't tell me you want to dump her and marry your fellow woman. <laughs> Come on. What did you just say? Yo, what else is remaining? What else is remaining? This is the new millennium. So I won't be surprised if you are equally into that. So, you know. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth, Omena Dima, because you will not like how I will handle you if you get on my nerves. What are you going to do? What? Tell the whole world I'm a murderer? Is that it? Listen, Olido, whatever they call you, you can go to hell and do your worst. Do you understand me? I'm no longer scared of you. Really? Yes. You can probably go to hell for all I care. I don't care anymore. So you can do your worst now. Nonsense.
you of all people. It's okay, fine, tell me. Why would I listen to you? Give me one reason why I should take your premature advice. Well, you can't wage a war against the entire land. You will lose. And who says I'm waging a war? I am only standing up for the women. Because they haven't been able to do that for so long now. So I am doing the right thing. That is what I'm doing. <laughs> you sound as if you just came from overseas. I mean, these things are already enshrined into the subconscious of people and they see that as standard practice. And that is where Princess Olido of Umoganigwe says, not anymore. The fact that people turn blind eyes on the right things do not mean that we should stop doing the right things. <sighs> Your brother did the wrong thing and he must face the consequences. Women from this part of the world are caged and that has got to stop. One second. Polito, <sighs> my sister. She's just so impossible. Guy, you guys don't understand what I'm talking about. Therefore, this guy has an estate in Lagos. He has a mansion in the village. I know he has assets all over the country. Probably out of the country. Hi! Hi! Mad! This information is mad. This is the kind of information that my ears need. You are shouting mad, oh, mad, oh, mad information. Have you seen it? Are you sure of what he's saying? Guy, I have men in the inside. I'm giving you first class information. Don't come here and doubt me, I beg. This guy, this, this, this guy, this, this guy is mad. Are you okay? It's like this property is really affecting you. Do you think that everybody is as broke as you are? I am not broke. I can never be broke. Please. My guys, we all are broke compared to this guy's level of money. You, you don't use it to compare us. Don't, don't go there. Instead of you, to be thinking of ways to make money. You are here, monitoring and analyzing other people's level of wealth. I sort of moon, I'm not a monk. I think you need deliverance. You need deliverance. Uh, that reminds me. Were you able to meet with Mr. Charles Onungwa? My brother, my village people sit down on top of my case file. Do you know I was told he left two minutes before I arrived? Hey, hey. This, this one is strong. So, how do you want to go about it? Uh, the mom promised to get you to him for me. I, I hope she keeps to her promise. My brother, if I lose this contract, I don't think I will survive it. Now, that is what you should be concerning yourself about. Not other people's achievements. Uh -uh. See, my brother, uh, just don't give up. Hmm? Keep going to his office, I believe. One day, a lock will shine on you. Are, are, are you okay? Sometimes, I wonder if you reason well. Are you sure you're not one of the village, village people that are on top of his case file? For your mind now, you, 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 your, your small mind, you believe that you are a motivational speaker. You are a preacher, right? You are preaching to us. Be very careful. My brother, you can't miss this contract. No, never. never. We will never. I will not. I will not. It is not like I don't trust you or something. But there's a way to do things. This thing has been in place even before our parents were born. So does it make it right? No, you tell me. Come on, my love. You can't change the system that has been in place even before we were born. The people accepted it and lived with it. Moreover, all these things are being enshrined into the constitution of the land. Oh, constitution made by who? Men. I can bet you that no single woman was a member of that committee when that useless constitution was being drafted. <laughs> uh, I am going to deal with these people. And please don't get involved. I don't want to start seeing you as well. I'm worried for you, my love. It's a risky exercise. I don't want to see you lose. It doesn't make any sense at all. You should know this by now. 
I will call you when I want to feel. What did you just say to me? That I am in a good mood. Please leave. I will call you when I need you. Please. Listen, I love you so much. That's why I'm telling you all this. This will only destroy what you have built for years. My princess, there's still time for you to quit. Um, 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 Vincent, please. If I need an advice, I know the right place to go get one. It is high time you stopped receiving advice from yourself. The reason you are the way you are. Mm -hmm. Don't make the mistake of giving anyone else your advice because you will ruin that person. Go and bury your advice, please. What did you just say to me? I can see you are not ready to leave. I will excuse myself. She is strong and flavor with the heart of a lion. In her quest for power, she fights and never give up. She fights for justice and equality, for peace and for serenity. She's a warrior. There is fire on the mountain. What fire? <laughs> Oledo has succeeded in brainwashing our women. My wife told me that she and other women are in support, that they won't stop until they take back what was taken from them. And what is it that was taken from them? What else, if not a respectful place in the administrative mechanism of the land? Whatever Oledo is planning, is no good for Umoganigui. You know, issue of all, it boils down to the same thing I told you before. We are the men, and we are the ones that must define what happens in this kingdom. We have to. We must devise a way to stop her. How are we going to do it? No, Lord the Bezer. Hello. You really need to sit your daughter down. You really have to sit her down and talk sense into her before she brings a curse on herself and the entire Umo Ganigwe kingdom. I don't understand that girl. Oledo is a different species of human. She doesn't listen to me. I've tried to speak to her on several occasions, but she wouldn't listen. Honestly, this whole thing is too much. Then I, I will advise you to find the person she listens to. Somebody who will explain these things to her in the language she understands. She's trying to destroy the cultural heritage of this kingdom, and we are not going to allow that. Oh no. She used to listen to her uncle, but not anymore. I don't know what else to do, but I'll see how I can still talk to her. You have to. You have to seriously find a way to talk to her. She's turning our daughters and our wives against us in this kingdom. And that is absolutely unacceptable. My princess, you sent for me. Oh, yes, please. Take. Give that to the women leader. She knows what to do. So it has gotten to the extent where you now bribe women. What a shame. Ono who came to the palace. He told mother how you've been turning their wives and daughters against them. I hope you know the gravity of what you're doing. Oh, you suddenly can't talk, right? Is it true? Why not? Learn something just to keep yourself busy. At least 
If you're busy, you will learn to mind your business. You're about destroying what has been there for years and you expect me to mind my business? Okay, fine. Why not try preventing me from destroying it? At least that can keep you busy. Or are you afraid? I am not afraid. For I am not a coward. I mean, things were okay the way they were. Why don't you let it be? Why? She is strong and clever With the heart of a lion In her quest for power We can't just watch my sister bring a curse upon this land We must do something about it so what do you suggest we do? Exactly. You are the one who lives with her, wakes up with her. There must be something you have planned already. If I knew exactly what to do, I wouldn't throw it in the open for you all to bring in your suggestions. Um, listen. Princess Olaido isn't someone we should toy with. So, I suggest we trade carefully. Please. Are you all going to help in this or you will continue being scared of my sister? My princess, she is your sister. You know her better than everyone of us here. Why not tell us the best way to stop her? Yes, just tell us and we promise to follow it to the letter. Very well then. We will all have to go home and figure a way out. There has to be a way out of this. Better. <laughs> What's funny about this? That part that you are addressed eh? as the next queen of Homo Organic Kingdom is the funniest thing I have ever And I didn't tell you! <laughs> so, wait. Will you be the one to, you know, carry the pregnancy so that your babe, I mean, the king will have the strength and time to handle the affairs of the kingdom. I mean, that's fucking funny! <laughs> oh, oh just, 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 just look at you guys. Look at. You guys should be more concerned that the Imana prince insulted your guy and you're here laughing. Uh, sorry, my guy, eh? But, but let's face it, hmm? I don't see what is wrong with what Oledo is fighting for. I mean, you guys are the ones blowing it out of proportion, if you ask me. Like seriously? Yes. Like seriously? Like seriously? Some men are out there looking for powerful ladies. Oh, yes. Ladies with vibes to call their wife. You have the best, and you're complaining. What kind of powerful ladies is that? My brother, I cannot have anything to do with such a woman. See, guys, no reason this thing. Hmm? Since that man started controlling everything concerning power in this land, can you mention one thing we have gained? Corruption. Nothing apart from endless corruption. That babe is campaigning for a change. And I don't see anything wrong with that. Have you ever imagined how amazing it would be for a woman to exercise the power of a king? Have you? Very amazing. Like seriously? What kind of power is that? My guys, listen. That kind of woman would never be my woman. She thinks that she can take the place of a man? That's very stupid of her. No. It's unacceptable. Vincent, uh, 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 Vincent. This particular word you use in addressing your future wife is very bad. It's wrong. It's not no gotten to that. She is still your love. Future king. My friend. I want. Let's think business wise. As businessmen. Good. What is wrong with you now becoming the queen? Next queen. Her royal majesty. Lord Liwe. Of Omo Ganiwe Kingdom. We will be eating money. Forget the man. How does that sound to you? Very sweet. Me man. being. Say this, what? Lord Ligwe. Lord Ligwe, what to do? It's angry. Me, Vincent Ezan. Lord Ligwe. Hmm. Please, I beg you, let nobody preach to me about that. Let nobody pre 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 preach, preach to you what? Ah, what would what, what you preach? Become the Lord Ligwe so that they'll be eating money. You'll be here smoking gar every day and then you. Think like. Ibo man. Think. Lonely way. You're not Where joining you? the prince to insult me. I am telling you're you. Insulting me indirectly. My friend, close, reduce your eyes so that you can reason well. Zoom in your eye. Well, I'm telling. Think. Think. 
a good day. My fellow people, women are smarter than men. Yes, sir. You see, women are always underestimated, and that is what we are going to use in this contest. Wow. The men feel they are more powerful and superior than women. The reason they put us below them. But that is a big lie. Yes. Women are stronger, they are smarter, yes. and we deserve just as the same sport as the men. Exactly. Yeah. I know this is going to sound strange to some of you because you've been brainwashed into accepting that you are just mere housekeepers. But that is a big lie. I am here to sanitize this community and to make you understand that you deserve better. Yes. Has any one of you heard of Queen Amina of Zaria? Good. You can bear me witness that she was more powerful than men. She even achieved more progress than her predecessors. And not only her, other powerful women stood up for what they believe in. Yes. My daughter, you're paddling into your wrong areas. This is the way it has been for years. We should let the sleeping dogs lie. Um, my fellow women, I understand your fears. I do. And I know this won't be easy. But we can't continue to allow the men treat us as though we're some useless objects. We can't continue to exist as though we are merely making up numbers. We are stronger. It is time we start making impact in the society. Yes. It is time we stand up for ourselves. Yes. We are smarter than we think. And we deserve more credit than we receive. I greet you all, my fellow women. I don't expect us all to just agree to this new development immediately. But I believe we can go home. Think it through. Research very well about it. And then come back for the next line of action. Um, I would also like to add that this is our time to rise up for what we believe in. This is our time to determine the future of our girls, yes. our land. Yes. This is the time to take what rightfully belongs to us, what was taken away by those unsolicited invaders who claimed they colonized us or who said they colonized us. This is a new millennium. It is time we move forward. We should move forward. You're right. Thank you so much. She is strong and clever with the heart of a lion. In her quest for power, she fights and never gave up. She fights for justice and equality, for peace and for serenity. She's a warrior. How was the meeting? I know you did not invite me here just to know how the meeting with the women went. You've never supported me on that. You really think so? I know so. I understand you have somewhere to go. I don't want to stay long. Just go down to where you called me. All right. Please, I want you to stop this. Do it for the fact that I don't like it. But it's not good for us. Sometimes I wonder how I ended up with you. Can you hear yourself? Because it is obvious you don't think before you speak. You want me to forfeit my dreams and aspirations because of you. Well, you know I can do that for you too. You should be ashamed of yourself. You can actually forfeit your dream for another. Really? Oh well, I'm sorry I can't. And I don't think anyone in this world can stop me. I'm afraid this will end badly. At least I won't be on my sickbed regretting that I did not try. 
I'll be happy to know that I gave it my best shot. Unlike you, who is a coward. Seriously? You called me a coward to my face? The truth is bitter, but must be said. If you're not a coward, then prove me otherwise. Please, I'll be on my way now. In her quest for power, she fights and never gave up. She fights for justice and equality. You know, I can still believe that my sister will have such a mind to do this thing to me. Don't worry, my prince. She won't succeed. And I believe that those people would not even listen to that stupid idea of hers. Well, that, that was what I thought until I heard her speech in the meeting she had with some women yesterday. You might not know, but the Umar does, they are very, very powerful. Which kind of power did they possess? My prince, stop worrying yourself. Look, if they are that powerful, then I, Kinsley, I will penetrate into them and destroy them. <laughs> Do you even know the women? Yeah? You think they are babes? How are you going to penetrate them and destroy them? How? My prince, it's simple. It's just to apply the almighty women formula. Uh -huh. Substitute babes for women. <laughs> Man, I'm planning to make the mother of my children not only sees me as a coward, she calls me that to my face. Vicente Zane, are you no longer the son of your father? going to take this insult? Well, you don't need to bother yourself. All is fine. In the absence of my husband, I can still present you with Kola. No, no, Please, no. make yourself comfortable. No, 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 you don't need to bother yourself. You are fine. Actually, I'm, I'm here to see you, not your husband. To see me? My prince, how? I mean, why? Um, we've been hearing a lot of good things about you, you know? How hardworking you've been in the development of this kingdom. So you don't need to be surprised when the prince comes to see you. Hmm? Maybe I, um, I want to give you a small token for me to you. Thank you, my prince. I don't think I have done anything to deserve an envelope. No, no, no. This is actually coming from my heart. Hmm? Just take it. Like I said, I don't need the money. Do you realize what this money can actually do for you? Please, my prince, leave. I'm not taking that money from you. Uh, my prince, you better take this money before I change my mind. Each time I change my mind, my blood is very bitter. Now take this money. Good. Good, good, good. Now smile to the prince. We shall see some other time. Take care of yourself. She is strong and clever. 
Read the heart of a lion In her quest for power She fights a neighbor give up She fights for justice and equality You mean he forced you into collecting this? Not him, his friend So what difference does he make? He's his partner in crime It seems to be getting messy already I'm a friend, for instance. She is strong and clever With the heart of a lion In her quest for power She fights and never give up She fights for justice I will handle it. Not to worry, okay? He's my brother. I know him too well. Princess, his friend looked mean and deadly. I think he's a bad influence. And it's okay. Um, like I said earlier, not to worry. I will handle it, okay? What is the meaning of this? And why are you blocking my path? I am not here for nonsense. Hence, I will not hesitate to deal with anyone who messes with someone dead to me. What are you talking about? Only a weakling exercises his power towards a defenseless woman. Let me tell both of you something. I am prepared, fully prepared. Like I said earlier, I will not hesitate to bring down anyone who meddles into my affairs. Be careful, very careful. My prince, did you see that? Just ignore her. Hmm? That's an empty threat. I'm not talking about who, who is talking about threat. She pushed me. Come on, let that slide. What, what, what are you going to do? Slap her? Eh? My prince, she should be grateful that I gave my life to Christ last week. Else, I for just collect the life. But what you doing? My prince, you know too well that I'm not afraid of anyone. Rather, your sister should be afraid of me. Else, I will deal with her personally. Deal with who? Huh? Deal with my sister. Right in this palace. Is something wrong with you? Have you gone nuts? Kisley, respect yourself. My prince, sometimes eh, your brain just they malfunction as if say we need to dodge you, carry you go psychiatric hospital. I don't know which side you deal. Now nah, side I've been on my side. Is everything all right? The prince and his friends attacked a defenseless woman simply because she wasn't on their side. Oh my goodness. Now she's traumatized. Where is the woman? Taking care of her. But, but, mother, you have to speak with your heir apparent. Tell him to leave the women alone, else he will go to jail. You people will not kill me. But, Olido, do you realize that you shouldn't be engaging in such a crusade while your father is still in the mortuary? 
Do you know that? How is that my fault? Things have to move forward. I wasn't the one who insisted on a ceremony before a burial. I wanted to bury my father immediately, but no! The Shylocks of Fumoganibe wanted otherwise. Haledo, you have to stop until your father is buried. Life is for the living mother. Life has to go on. Excuse me. Who would have told me that as the only son of my father, that I would be fighting my throne with my sister, a woman? Why is this ever done? Man, this is unbelievable. Well, my prince, I'm as shocked as you are. But man up, relax. For your sister, a small challenge. I'll take care of her. How do you want to do this? How do you want to do it? Only though is a fighter. How do you want to do that? My father knew this. That was why he made her the head signatory to the Royal Bank account. That girl pays attention to the, even the least insignificant detail. The least. How are we going to get rid of her? How? My prince, relax. <laughs> now let's small pick in. I ain't going to for the no call and uh, Say something that I will relax. understand. I have a perfect plan. Perfect plan? Kisly, the perfect plan. What, so what, tell me, what is the plan now? Just chill. I don't care what your excuses are. Don't you ever get close to any woman. Let alone terrorize her. Leave women out of your madness. Leave them out of your madness. You push to just leave me alone. You were taking sides with all it, right? I should have known, yes, I should have known. But mom, I will never, I will never allow anybody to take away my throne, never. <laughs> It is not even in your place to decide who sits on the throne. This is my father's throne. And as the only son of my father, I have the right to ascend that throne, mother. I don't care about that. Leave defenseless women out of your madness. Let me tell you something. Women are capable of doing the unthinkable when they are pushed to the wall. Hello, mother. You won't bribe me with bag. Are you sure you'll be coming back next week? Of course, mother. I cross my heart. I will believe you when I see you. You will see me. Mm -hmm. Mother, there is something I want to talk about. Okay. With all your achievements and your career with the United Nations, and now that you have retired in this village, don't you think you need some domestic workers Oh, to please, Charles, don't go there again. Allow me to take care of this beautiful edifice of yours. Now that I'm still young, at least it will serve as a beautiful exercise for a retired woman. I don't need any domestic worker. All right. Well, be rest assured that I will revisit this topic and I'm hopefully that you would accept a domestic worker to help you with some... No, I will need a wife. That will be the best option. But I can see that you're not ready for that yet. Come here, son. <laughs> I love you, Mom. I love you too, son. Pick your phone when I call you, alright? I will pick right, it. Mom. Bye. Let me tell you something. Women are capable of doing the unthinkable when they are pushed to the wall. They are capable of doing the unthinkable. What can they even do? I 
Uh, he will be back next week. He just left. He's so gentleman. Is there anyone that means I can get to him? I've been to his office several times to book an appointment. Oh. But I've not been successful. I know that his employees always make it difficult for people to see him in the office. But don't worry. I will um, tell my son about you. Thank you so much, ma. That would be a very big boost for me. Um, come on, don't say that. There's nothing wrong. He's my son anyway. There's nothing wrong in him helping someone. I know, ma. But so many women will not do that. So many women will be angry to see other people approaching their children for assistance. <laughs> and you can say that we are different. It's a hobby in this family to help people. And we don't intend to change it anytime soon. Thank you, ma'am. I will call you as soon as I finish discussing your business with my son. Thank you, ma. I appreciate that. I so much I appreciate it. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. Guy, I missed him. I was told he left before I arrived. I'm tired of chasing him and not getting hold of him. Guy, I can't afford to lose this contract. Charles Onoko has a reputation of helping people. I know he will help me. If I get this contract, I can prove to Oledo that I'm man enough and I can achieve what I set my mind at. I'm sure of that. With this contract, I can make enough money and she won't be able to talk to me anyhow. to surprise you. By the way, if you're not taking my calls. I've been busy all day. Didn't even check my phone. But I would have called you if I have showered and have time to check my phone. Is it about what happened the other day? I'm not angry. I'm just tired. I just want to be left alone. Oh, come on. If you have something to say, why not say it to my face than behaving like a woman? What? You called me a coward. My woman. From the tone of your voice, I can tell I'm not welcomed. When you're ready to talk, you know where to find me. Like seriously? Like kids, what has come over us? Cho -cho 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 -cho. Just because of some bags of rice and tomatoes, are we not ashamed of ourselves? We need this. We need this. We need this. We need We need this. 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 Can we behave like mothers with children? Let us not do what we will from us if we see our children doing. My fellow women, we all know that these are not just gifts. They are not. And we all know that if we accept these gifts, that means we are owing the person that brought the gifts. Yes. What do we really want? Is it some gifts that we finished in few days? Or a better future for us and our children? I need this. I need a ride. I need a ride. There is no need of talking too much. A horizon. We don't need it. I never run that way. We are talking about money. Calm down. Let's call a spade a spade. 
The prince has never given anything to any of us, or am I lying? No. So he brought this gift for us because he wants something from us. <laughs> now the question is, are we ready to give to him what he wants from us? Yes. 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 Because I need this right. You need to explain why you ask these questions. Because the reason for this gift has not been explained to us. The reason for this gift is because he wants to buy our conscience. I need so we right. must reject this gift. No. I need the right. No. No. I need it. No. No. We need to reject it. We need it. We need it. We need it. We need it. Enough. 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 We have to vote. Hey. Those that need the gift, please, your hands up. On that belly, I need the rice. I need the rice. My fellow women, let's think this through in order not to make mistakes we will regret. If we collect this gift, this means we are now indebted to Prince Omen Ademba. Wow. And we must do everything he wants us to do. And we will have nothing to do with Princess Oledo and her quest to get back what was taken from us. So, we don't need it. We 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 need it. Where are the other women? We both are representatives. The women are already in their homes. So you're trying to tell me that the women rejected my gift? Why? Women of Umuaganiwe are not as hungry as some people think. Yes. I feel they looked into the big picture and concluded that the gifts will not give them any lasting advantage. Will you, will you shut up your mouth? Shut up this thing you called mouth. Which women? Those hunger ambassadors. Those ones that they've lost their husband because of hunger. Instead of you to grab this gift, grab it the way you grab your husband. I'm even thinking of convincing the prince to, to buy this uh, one carton of chicken or turkey to add to it. Is it because you're opportunity to have local rice? Atuma? Have you tasted this foreign rice before? Kensele, it's okay. Um, um, my women, what do you want? Is it money? I, I can pay you every month. No. We don't need anything. I don't know this fool that you brought with you. You must warn him. Um, my, my women, I'm sorry. I've already warned him. Hmm? And I apologize on his behalf. Eh? You, you do it, see? <laughs> Sometimes, eh? I don't even know whether I'm in the following the worker or you the following me the worker. You want me where? How? When? And when you call Tato Magician, where you want me and I don't know? You want me on my behalf without my permission. So you just invade it on my privacy because you want to be king. My prince, if you want to insult me, you will send it as test message. And I will read it personally. And not to insult me in the front of these people where hunger does skyrocket their agent and menopause. Respect yourself, Kinsley. These are women in positions of authority in this Omoganic kingdom. Don't provoke me, please. Oh, this one's. My prince. My women, I'm, I'm so sorry. But I want to know, why will the women of Omokanigwe Kingdom reject a gift from a prince? Why? Why are you insisting on giving us something? Are you that generous? Or do you want something? <sighs> Ooh, come on, who said that I want something? Must I want something before I care for my women? Thank you. Thank you very much for your decision to give. We are not interested sincerely. We are not. What's the meaning? 
You see, my dear brother, wisdom is a virtue. When I tell you and your sister to pray for wisdom, you all think I'm blabbing. Now you've gone to embarrass yourself. Do you think you can bribe them? You think they are fools? Let me warn you for the very last time what they do. Stay away from me. Oh, how can I stay away from you when you can't even make one move or decision right? You know I love you so much. And I would advise you consult me first before making a move. Something tells you that you're winning, right? Don't celebrate yet, my dear. And <laughs> who is celebrating? Who says I'm celebrating? I am just happy. Let's see how long it lasts. On behalf of the Olu and other kingmakers of the land, I want to thank the royal family for finally providing funds for the ceremony to announce the passage of the king. Exactly. And uh, in this meeting, we are going to fix the date for the burial. Because it is expected that during the ceremony to announce the passage of the king, that the date of the burial proper must have to be announced to the larger Mogadigo community. So we are going to fix the date here today. With all due respect, there will be no fixing of any burial date, and there shall be no burial until Princess Oledo here is called to order. And what makes you think you have such power? I am the first son of this royal family, the heir to the throne. My stand on this matter is final. Mm -mm. <laughs> Please, this is not the right time for all this. It's like the name Omenadim that my father gave you is beginning to get to you. I have tolerated you enough, Princess Oledo, and I will not take any nonsense again from you. Do you oh, understand shut me? Shut up! Shut up! Why don't you grow up and understand that I am not in competition with you? I will do whatever I want to do, and you cannot stop me. I will stop you, and I must. You are just a woman. You belong to the labor room and the kitchen. Excuse me! If the earlier she accepts that, the better for her more. Hey, hey, listen, listen, I'm gonna do that. Are you okay? How can you say that? That's an irresponsible thing to say to the woman. From a man like you, a man in your position. What is going on? Are you okay? And you, princess, princess Oledo, you are supposed to be the head, the head princess in this family. Who is supposed to be organizing everybody? Why are you doing this kind of thing? Even your father and his... Um, Ichi, this is where I will hold you. Don't bring my father into this. Because none of you ever knew what my father wanted. We are here to fix a date for his burial. Please, let's leave it at that. Thank you. I know what the burial of a king represents, Onoru. And there shall be no burial until this woman here is purged of all her radicalism and recklessness. This is final. What are you even saying to us? Get on our way. What I have been saying from day one, I can't marry a feminist or whatever they are called. A woman that urinates, bending, will not come and measure shoulder with a man. I can't marry such a girl. You see that she stops this madness or we are done. Listen, Vincent, there's nothing wrong in feminism. Princess Oledo is fighting a noble cause. And it's about time women were given chances in the society. Check it well. Women are smart. They are responsible. They are reliable. Mm -hmm. And they are... Vincent. Vincent. Allow Princess Oledo, your wife to be, to become whatsoever she wants to be. Please. You see, I completely agree with Paul. Seriously, it's even better for us to, to test the leadership of a woman because 
Men have been messing up big time all this while. I'm surprised you guys are supporting Evo. I don't know why you're supporting Evo. Have you seen a woman being a king? Can a woman be a king? Why can't a woman be a king? That can happen as we are not here. Listen, it is not all about becoming a woman becoming the king. It is about having a female who know who know who can wine. Okay. Cabinet of wine. Cabinet members will be in the chair of home wine. Home wine in the chair. Then guards will be home wine in the guard. New thing. Can make an area. Who can move your king? They have been doing it, and and the kingdom is moving from bush to forest. Princess, do this for me. For the love of this family, allow your brother to be the king. I beg you. Sister, please. Do not allow people to laugh at this family. Let's just bury father in peace and move on. Please. Oledo, I know you are a lot wiser than your brother. That is why I am begging you. Please allow him to be the king. <clears throat> Mother, you know I am not a selfish person. I want the best for everyone. I love my family as much as I love this land. I want the best for this land. And that is the singular reason I do not want Omena Dinkba to be king of this land. <sighs> Do you want to kill me before my time? Oh, mother, no one is killing you. Nothing will happen to you. Trust me, you will have to thank me later. I bet you. The truth is, the prince... The prince is not fit for the throne. So, are you now the one fit for the throne? I'll have to think about that and get back to you in due time. But for now, the prince cannot be king. From what I know, the burial can be faced without you, but not without him. This is the problem. This is exactly the problem. I am the first child of the family and the head of that family, so long as my father is not in the picture. is a pity. That is the custom of the land. Oh. Too many things need to be changed in this land. Too many. How can they do this? Does it mean women are irrelevant? Does it mean that we are objects to be used as this man, please? We have our voices. We have our own mind. We are relevant. And we should be treated accordingly. I know all that, my princess. But this is not the right time for that speech. We need to find a way to bury the late king. Things will not move until the late king is laid to rest. Do you know of anyone who can interpret dreams? I had a very terrible dream last night and I'm worried. It is connected with my daughter, Olido. I don't want to tell her yet. I want to find the interpretation on my own. time to discuss the way forward. And, okay. Um, I've come up with a good plan. So what's your plan? Let us eliminate your sister. Mm. 
What did you just say? Ah, calm down, my prince. Why are you staring at me as if you, see, you are seeing a masquerade? Look, men must do what men must do to retain power. You know, I will make this whole thing look like an accident. Kissy, how can you know such a thought? My, my prince, leave that matter. I don't ever tell you once I go to see school. Since when me and you decide that you don't hear me to say I go to see school. Wait. This is what I can do for a friend. Except you don't want the throne. Look, I have someone who can carry out this job perfectly well. And it will make it look like an accident. And before you know, all it is long buried and forgotten. Are you mad? Huh? You want me to kill my sister because of the throne? <laughs> You're joking, are you? You see, my prince, this is the only solution we have. You know, except you don't want the throne. And if they do me now, like saying a bodyguard, you won't be. No, if you want to be bodyguard, now talk more scatter this whole plan. This is the only solution, my prince. And why are you so acting as if Oledo is the only sister you have? You have your other sister. You know, do this and forget about it and be happy for the rest of your life. The equation will balance just you and the sister. And ah, Lolo, he balanced like that now. If only the John an evil number. Are you stupid? Don't you have sense? Eh? Now I know why God denied you the joy of having a sister. And that joy is what you're enjoying now. Eh? No, now the joy now in now, now the sing hallelujah now for your head. Eh? Only the that looks like a nursing mother. Somebody who is capable, very ready to take you to the bathroom. Bait you, even breastfeed you. I don't see the joy now. Not see the joy we are gathered for your body. Listen, Kesi. I will assume we never had this discussion. My prince, forget that matter. If you did assume, you could be like saying you suffer from amnesia. Now the real matter be this. See, not let me waste all my strength. Last last, you could be guard. That you go pay me well well. If you don't say you could be guard, now poor this thing made the wear normal clothes like me. All you need to do is just to put one or two in all those cars, you know? And the tinted car will force all of them into running for our life. And that will result to accidents. And when that is being done, nobody will suspect anyone. Whatever it is you are planning, Bear in mind that an older chef has more broken utensils. She is strong and clever with the heart of a lion. In her quest for power, she fights and never gave up. She fights for justice and equality, for peace and for serenity. She's a warrior. I just had that same dream again in broad daylight. No. This is not good at all. I need to talk to somebody. Series and series of frustration make it appear as if I'm on the losing end. Yeah, but you know me. Whatever I want to do, I don't stop until I see the end of it. Don't worry. I will call you guys tomorrow so that we can strategize. I don't know why you are here. But if you are here to preach to me, just know that I, I am not listening. I have come to remind you that Oledo is your sister. Your blood. You should not plan any evil against her or even think of hurting her. Not so fast, ma'am. Um, where is this coming from? Did I tell you that I want to hurt Olido? I know you are a good boy. 
and you cannot hurt your blood. Listen, if anything should happen to any of you, I will just kill myself. Mom, nothing will happen. Just tell your daughter to leave my throne and everybody will be happy. Can we just bury your father and talk about this later? Mom, bury my father comes with crowning a new king. I won't allow that burial when Olido is deeply involved in this Hadithi politics. Mom, I am not the problem here. She is. I am scared. I am scared Omenadimpa might do something terrible. And Olido on her side is not just helping matters at all. I've tried to speak to both of them, but they refuse to listen to me. Children of this age are becoming something else. And the social media is doing more harm than good. I need you to speak to her. You are the only one she would listen to. Please, tell her to leave that throne for her brother. It is his birthright. Sister, that will be difficult to... The last time I spoke to Oled on this topic, the way she spoke to me, she has never done that before. There is something about her right now. Well, you will still find a way of talking to her. Something bad might happen because of this. Something bad like what? Uncle, for this one you are complimenting me. Are you planning on asking for anything? Of course, you know I cannot deny you of what I can give. What do you mean by that? Don't I compliment you before? Hmm. Needless to say that you're stingy with compliments. What do you want? Okay, I'm here to speak to you about something. But that doesn't mean that all I said are lies. Hmm. Do you have business for us? <laughs> Only than business. I always wonder what you would have become if you were a man. I am yet to see any man who is better than me, so what you wonder makes no sense to me. What is the business? <laughs> There's no business, Oledo. I'm here to talk to you about you and your brother. Oh, Uncle, please, please. I don't want to dwell on that topic, please. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Hear me out first. <laughs> I'm not against you. I'm with you. I'm with you now. Oh, Uncle, do you, do you still see me as that little girl you always carry on your shoulder? I am an adult now. So, this trick will not work on me. Oledo, please think deep before you continue this. The British colonialists that brought kinship system into Igbo land have a woman as a queen. She superheads everything. And we that copied from them have relegated women to the background. Does that make any sense to an educated man like you? Some truths are better left untold and some questions better not asked. Do you remember that your late father used to say that? And unfortunately, I am now interested in finding all the answers. There is no stopping me. My prince, this, this is Tech, the guy I've been telling you about. This guy is super bad. And when I mean bad, I mean B-A-D with another T. That's to tell you how bad he is. He is good at what he does. <laughs> All he need to do is just to put one or two in all of those cars, you know? And the tinted car will force Oledo into running for her life. <laughs> and that will result to accidents. And when that is being done, <laughs> nobody will suspect anyone. I have done it for many people. In fact, some of the major cars from assault that lead to death were caused by me. I do it so well. I am not sure of this. I never approved this. 
Why would you go, go continue with this your plan? Why? Wait, 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 wait. Do you know I went to the pit of hell myself to bring this agent of darkness? This person you see here is agent of death. You see, all the accidents happening in this entire universe is the master planner. Look, doing this does not make you a terrible person. Your sister brought this upon herself. Except you don't want to be king. It's not a roadside killer. The agent of darkness where you're here every year, boo Bible every night, be this life under red. All the way from Peter Fair. Kinsley, you know the way I operate. So you guys are not ready. Then why bringing me here? Hey, just, just calm down. Hey, my prince, if this guy sit down two minutes, not keep pacey, but do not the rest. Yes, yes, that is how he operates. I, I, know, I know his pattern. If he sit five minutes without killing anybody, he, he, he blood the bitter. Look, it is time for you to make your choice. Sit here and watch your sister Oledo become king. Mm. And watch the entire village ridicule you, laugh at you, even spit on you. Mm. Or, or you'd rather do this and forget about it with time. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay? Um, young man, I will tell you when and the time to do it. What of my money? Why is he so much in a hurry? He's my agent of that. He attend to so many people. Some accidents now will happen for different cities. Now he needs to go plan all those ones. Young um, man, just send me account details, please. Better. You give me uh, the money, I carry out your job. My can do mad. My money, please. Uh, Tech, you have it, you have it, don't worry. This is Omena uh, Dingpa. Soon to be king. This guy, this guy is dangerous. He's not a guy, you agent of death. Don't forget it, you agent of death. Don't let it escape your memory. Um, Tech, just calm down. <clears throat> You're in the right place. I saw your friends. And so? There is something strange about them, especially the new one. I think you should stop associating yourself with them. Don't mind your business. That is what princesses do. You know I really do not care about what happens to you. But I think they are trouble. Lean to mind your business. <sighs> we have to start with us. We need to speak to our parents, especially our mothers, and make them realize that what Princess Oledo is doing is misleading them, which will clearly lead to our destruction. When you approach an adult and tell her that she's being deceived, and the said adult knows clearly that she's not being deceived, don't you think he will stand stupid? Oh, Amarachi, just shut up already. You've continued to sound like a sellout. If you don't want to be a part of us, you can as well delete yourself from this group, please! I'm sorry, my princess, but you're commissioning us to do something that has never been done before. There is always the first time. Um, but, my princess, why don't you do it yourself? Like, I mean, you can come to our houses and speak to our parents yourself. <sighs> That's true. They will listen to you just like they listen to your sister. It's not as if I cannot speak to them. I just prefer you speak to your parents first. I mean, it will make more sense. I can take it up from there. Girls, I think Mrs. Izu is right. Let's just speak to our parents first. Your parents will listen to you. Mine will never listen to me. In fact, they don't even take me serious. Same with me. My mom will not listen to me. <laughs> she prefers to listen to an outsider rather than listen to her own daughter. You know what? Why don't you all just give it a try? I mean, if it doesn't work, I'll do something about it. All right? She is strong and clever With the heart of a liar In her quest for power She fights and never give up She fights for justice Hello, baby. Oh, my princess. You look beautiful as always. Oh, thank you. I'm so sorry for keeping you 
the way to them. I was in the kitchen. You know I derive pleasure cooking the things I eat. Hmm? Okay. Okay. How are you? Okay. So. Um, you want to say something? Let it out. I'm listening. I want to know how everything is going on here. How is the queen coping? How is Izu and the prince? You came all the way to know how my family and I are doing. Oh, please. I know you too well. What is it this time? Fine, okay. I came to find out if you have changed your mind about what I told you last time. I can't remember. <clears throat> What is it? Please refresh my memory. I want to find out if you have changed your mind about the kinship of this land. What makes you think I'll change my mind? You may not realize that all this doesn't make sense. Oh, yes. I agree, I agree with you, I mean. It doesn't make sense. I agree with you, coming from a very wise person. How do you mean by that? Are you in any way insulting me? Oh, no. I'm not. But then again, if I had disagreed with what you just said, it would have become a problem. I decided to agree to it and it is still a problem. What do you really want from me? I need to get done on this and focus on other stuff. So, why the delay? My Prince, this question goes to you. Why the delay? I'm waiting for the perfect time. You guys should calm down. Please, yeah? I have everything under control. Listen, I have set up a plan to do this the day after tomorrow. So, can I get the mobilization alert? Dingba, Tech just said something about mobilization alert. Why are you panicking as if you have a wife in the labor room? It's just one die. It not be dead too. Death's not plenty of people. We die now one person. You guys should please calm down. Do you think it's easy to kill my sister? It's not easy. Eh? Do you guys just want me to kill her just like that? You guys should give me the decency to kill her at my own time. Please. At least let me just see her for a while. Huh? I understand how you feel. You have to be a man. The earlier we do this and forget about all this, the better for both of us. Good. It's the same thing I've been telling him. In fact, I've been saying it over and over. I've been reciting it as a poem. My prince, if you must rule in this kingdom, you must be a man. Think about it now. Killing that one die will save you a lot. No fear, you're not going to disturb me for a dream. I just won't die. It's fine, it's fine. I think we'll carry it out a day after tomorrow. Good. Good. <laughs> Long live Omen Adimpa. Be a man, a real man. I just won't die. Honey, is everything okay? Is everything all right? <sighs> Sit. All you do. I am your mother. Please listen to me. I can't afford to lose any of you. Can both of you just stop this madness? I beg you. What happened? You haven't said anything. Did you see those boys outside with your brother? I didn't. But they should be his friends. I've seen them with him before. They were the same ones I saw in my dream. They were stabbing you. 
had to call Ono to rescue you. Okay, fine, fine. Sure. You saw them stab me in your dream. Yes. And that was my second dream. Oledo, I am scared. Please, both of you should just stop. Let me return to this home. Please. <laughs> Mother, I can't believe you're scared for just an ordinary dream. It is not ordinary. Please. I want peace to return. I beg you. So where everything will be fine, I've heard you. Oh, you sent for me. Sit down. So, what is it? There is something I want you to be aware of. Okay. In this land, Ada is a very special people and they must be treated specially. If anyone, no matter who you are, as little as pull a strand of hair from another, the spirit of the Omada will hunt that person down will not just kill that person or wipe out everyone in that person's lineage until they are appeased so why are you telling me this Oledo is the other of this family if anyone as little as i her not to talk of hurting her the spirit of the Umada will come for that person until they are appeased. So mom, why would someone want to hurt her? Beautiful question. Why would anyone with a brain want to hurt another person? Not to talk of someone very close. Mom, if there is something you want to say, you come out straight and say it. And stop all the things you're doing. Or is there something you want me to know? Nothing. I'm just discussing with you. Hello? Um, oh no. Yeah, please, I need your help right now. O okay, okay, tomorrow then. Tomorrow. She just abandoned this project and allow peace to reign. I like the word you used. Projects. It is indeed a project. So, why would I abandon this project? Because it is not only wrong, but very abnormal. Yes. So, it is normal that our system has been compelled towards making men more successful than women. Making them leaders, representatives, making sure that people who matter in the society are men and not women. Tell me, what makes them so special? What do they possess that you and I do not possess? It is not about what they have or something. The issue is that you can't just wake up and change the narratives. You can't. It doesn't work that way. Are you implying our forefathers were not wise? They didn't know what they were doing? Is that the case? Has it ever occurred to you that these same forefathers you're talking about are humans just like you and I. 
Has it also occurred to you that some of them were drunks and lacked common sense? Mm -hmm. What qualification do they have to create a system that you and I cannot change? Why does it appear to me as if you want to die prematurely? Are you going to kill me? Listen, I need you to realize that we need more women making impacts. More women as leaders. More women who are shattering existing tables. More women who will be heading government parastatals and more women succeeding. It is high time we changed the narratives. But we cannot change it with a mindset as such as yours. Wake up and smell the freedom of the millennium. What is my, it? My princess. Um, you have a training in 15 minutes time. Oh, please reschedule, okay? I have a very important meeting to attend. No, my princess. What is it? You rescheduled yesterday's training. Just do as I said, my love, okay? Please, reschedule. Okay. Do you understand the gravity of what you just said? Oh no. My father made me understand that any man who is determined to retain power can go to any lane to get it done. That includes elimination of his own oppositions. That throne is mine. I can't be fighting my throne with my sister. Yeah, so because of this, this thing you just said now, you have decided that you are going to kill your own sister. And at that of whom can go for that matter. Oh no, that at that angle is the main reason why I'm having this meeting with you. Oh no, but tell me, how, how much is it going to cost me? I'll give it to you. I just want this thing done once and for all. Listen, Omer Adiba, this has nothing to do with how much you can offer. The spirit that guides Omaga, not only here in Omaganim, but everywhere in Ibo land, that spirit is very strong. Any man who kills Ananda or the one who participates in the process that will ultimately lead to the death of Ananda, that person will never end well. Well, my mother already told me that. Oh no, we are still the only who merely needs a new color of this our kingdom. Oh no, even my late father in his wisdom still consulted you in terms of crisis. Uh, but, but listen, there is no crisis as we speak. You are the one making it up. And I'm advising you, share this idea before you shoot yourself in the leg. Okay, what now happens if only do not succeed in this deadly quest for power? Uh, only are you going to stand a woman who the highest authority in this kingdom? Uh, uh, we are going to find a way around it. Uh, clean your sister. In fact, clean anybody is not going to be an option at all. Oh no, I won't lie to you. I almost did that today. I almost killed my sister. I won't lie to you, if not for what my mother said. Uh, that is where you should be thanking your stars. Taking your stars that you have a woman like that as, as a mother. A woman who will always guide you right. She was indeed an excellent wife to the late king, your father. Listen to that woman always. Because she will always guide you right. You will not move faster than your shadow. Before you cut your own life into pieces. My fellow women. This is not just about us. But for our children. Children's children. We need to teach them to support and believe in themselves. We need to make them know that their lives matter in the society. Yes. yes. 
we need to teach them that they need to make a difference. And their voices deserve to be heard. Yes. Sincerely speaking, I am not going to tell you that this is going to be easy. There will be obstacles. But what matters is our unity as women and the fact that we can never give up on each other. Yes. yes. This fight is a fight for justice. Yes. And a fight for freedom. We need to make a statement. Yes. We need to... <clears throat> I'll be right back. One second. What are you doing here? I came here to see my mothers. Or is that now you cry? We are having an important meeting. We don't need any form of distraction. Important meeting like taking away my children, right? <laughs> I think I, I deserve to know how you guys plan to do it. Oh, you don't want to hear about it. I want to hear every bit of it, my dear. Why not go home? Go home and think about your life. And know what you can achieve with your life before it is too late. Do you think I'm moved by all this? I am not moved. You can never win. Do you understand me? I am not scared of you. <laughs> Really running mad yet you still want me to believe that you are not scared of me. Oh please. I will teach you why you bend to pee and I stand to pee. Does that make any sense? We shall see. Strong and clever, she fight for justice and equality, for peace and for serenity. She's a warrior woman. Do you, by any means, know the implication of messing with Omada? Do you? Mom, is that the reason you've been calling me to come back home? Mom, I, I, I don't have this time, mother. Do you know what would have happened if the Umada had gotten offended by your recklessness? I wonder what only that would be feeding you with. I was not reckless. I only went there to, to greet them. What is wrong with that? When I did back, you have to be careful. You have to be very careful. Let the death of that maiden be the only minus hanging round your neck. Do not try to bring more troubles to this home. Not so fast, mother. Not so fast. What did I do wrong? Huh? What have I done wrong? Your daughter is the one coming for what belongs to me. It's not me to talk to her, you're talking to me. What is going on? The almighty queen of Omar and Evil Kingdom has finally gone down. You are taking sides, mother. Yes, you are taking sides because you feel you can't handle her, but you can handle me. Is that it, mother? That's not true. I'm trying to guide you right. Who says I cannot handle her, lady? Is she not my child? Then unleash your powers on her and damn her, mother. Damn her! She's the one that leads all these guys and not me. For she is the one coming up with the idea that never happened. Face her and leave me alone, mother. Please. Come back, Mom. 
Thank you. Um, everything is in place. Um, he requested for the necessary documents. Just have your gist. Thank you so much, ma. I, I appreciate it. Now you can feel relaxed and take your juice. Thank you, ma. It's okay. So when do I bring the documents? Um, whenever he's ready. What time is it? Hello, ma. Oh. <laughs> Good to see you. Oh. Welcome, my dear. Thank you. Hello, Vincent. Hello. Sit down, my dear. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Oh, ma, I have to take my leave. It's okay. Please, I, I want to ask, when do I bring the documents? Uh, here in the house or the office? Uh, since he will be here soon, why not bring it to the house? All right. Okay, bring it here. Thank you, ma. It's okay. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Why was he so uncomfortable with your presence? I wouldn't know. I'm as surprised as you are. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Listen, I understand your position as the President General of Umoganigo Progressive Union. I equally want you to understand my position as the Onohu of the Sun Kingdom. Your position is in law. Mine is rooted in the tradition of the land. There are certain things that you don't know. The autopsy of the late king must be lowered with him when the rebels of the late king is lowered in his grave. That is only about the time a next king can emerge. But there are certain things that are making it impossible for a new king to even imagine in this kingdom now. And that is something those of you that only know law will never understand. You know what? When you come back from London, okay, you come to my place. Let us sit down and I'm going to explain everything to you in greater details. There are certain things that cannot be discussed over the phone. Don't worry, when you just when you come back, come and see me and I will explain everything. Have a wonderful day. You call yourself a man, but I see no man. I see a child, and that makes me weak. You have already called me a coward. You called me a woman, now a child. Only why are you daring me? My tolerance is already exhausted. If you have issues with me, say it to my face and quit being a child. Okay, I will say it. You are pathetic. You claim to have class while you have no class. Nonsense. It's gotten to this. You, you are insulting me. No, I'm not insulting you. You know what? It's over between us. For dreaming the impossible and wanting to rule over the man, I will never have anything to do with you again. Leave my house. And if you leave, don't think of coming back again. Go and rule those men you can you when you came back. You looked very sad and here you are, looking all devastated. What's the problem? Something happened today. It hurt so much that I realize I deserve better. Are you feeling this way is the price I have to pay before getting what I deserve. So be it. Sister, 
I know you're a very strong person. I believe you will get through this. Just don't let it break you like this, right? Life is so unfair. Why? Why do we always get through pains just to feel happy? Why can't we be happy without the pain? Have you forgotten you will not appreciate happiness if there was no pain? But it is still unfair. I just want the right things to be done. It's like I'm being insensitive and selfish. You are not. But then just stop crying. You're only hurting yourself more by so doing. Don't cry. Oh yeah. Uh. If I can turn back the hands of time. I will redo the mistakes that I've done Somebody tell me what will I do Cause my mistakes and foolishness is costing me a lot Can I turn back the hands of time I will all mistakes I have done Somebody tell me What will I do? Oh, Cause my mistakes and foolishness Is costing me a lot Somebody turn back Somebody turn back the haze of time I'll pay any price Oh, any late Oh, to regain my throne I will do 